Hello, good evening. Uh, welcome to the Mac Mirror Thursday evening deep dive bottle focus. Uh, joining myself and Lawrence. Say Hi guys, you. how's it going? Hi. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's our reserve cask master, uh, Matt Chambers. Uh, Hello. We'll, so we'll, we'll, and obviously we've got Carl in the background fielding questions as well in the comments. Uh, so, uh, so if you're new, make sure to follow us on our social media accounts, uh, like us and share us with your pals so everybody gets to share the, the Mac Mirror love. Uh, so without further ado, let's talk to Matt. Matt, how are you, my friend? I'm very Tell good. Thanks, about yourself. thanks, Mickey. Hi, Lawrence, as well. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I literally, I, I'm obviously here to talk about the reserve cast, the private cast, but, um, you know, I, I'm a, some, come from a whiskey retail, whiskey blogging background, uh, done a bit of both in my time over the last 10, 12 years or so, um, to relative success, I like to think, but uh, joined MacMira in uh, the middle of March uh, to help launch the, the Reserve Cast program in the UK. Um, it, it's a program that's really, you know, been you know, in operation for over 15 years in Sweden and they've got over 20,000 cask owners wow. here. And uh, sorry, in Sweden, but here, you know, it's, it's a brand new concept, really. It's literally a handful of cask owners that, that were going sort of, uh, you know, when I took over in, 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 in March. So it's really to grow the concept, to uh, get more people interested and to hopefully sell, sell some more casks. Oh, amazing. Uh, so can you just tell us a little bit more about the private cast program? Like, what, what is it exactly? Of course. So uh, essentially people get to um, design or create your own whiskey. Uh, so you get to choose what you end up with, uh, you know, a number of bottles with at the, at the end of the day in sort of four or five years' time. So there's a number of key decisions for, actually, that you get to choose. So essentially you get to play God and, and create your own whiskey. So... How often do you get to do that, you know? Not often, especially <laughs> in <my> house. <laughs> but uh, the first one you get to choose is the spirit type. Uh, and this, uh, you know, the, this, is the, this is the first thing. Second thing you get to choose, that's new mate spirit, by the way. So it's not matured already in, in this case. Uh, second one you get to choose is the cast type. So the, the type of oak or uh, what's previously been in the cask, uh, that's your second choice. Uh, the third choice is where it actually gets matured. They have uh, different, you know, McMira, we have, you know, different locations, different warehouses around Sweden, so you can choose uh, where that is, uh, where your cask is matured. And the fourth one is when it's bottled. So you actually get to follow the journey of the cask all the way through. And on or around its anniversary, you actually get, we get a cask sample of your very own cask sent over and we taste it with yourself or the people that you've collaborated with. Uh, so you can see how it's going. So it's not just a program as happens elsewhere where you literally get your cask, you never see it, and then you get X number of bottles in, you know, however many years it is. Yeah. And we're talking 30 litre casks here. So the interesting thing about this is because the cask is so small, you know, relative to a normal bourbon or sherry cask you know, much larger is that it ages you know or, or relatively faster you know it has a lot of interaction with the 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 woods uh, the the ratio of wood to whiskey is very high so it's a very vigorous interaction so this is why it can be you know quite a short length of time so you're not having to wait like 10 or 15 or 20 years like you might have to do with a traditional bourbon or sherry cask, for example. And they're 30 litres because when McMira uh, started in 1999, they actually built their own still. And uh, basically it had a 30 litre run, uh, spirit run. So originally they were filling like... 30 litres into larger cask until it was full. But then they decided, well, why don't we get uh, casks especially made for us that are 30 litres, so each batch is its own thing. So, yeah, yeah. you know, they get uh, the, the, the barrel sent over from, say, Kentucky, the bourbon industry, or Jerez for the sherry industry, or wine producing areas, or, you know, wherever it is. 
sent to this uh, special cooperage in Sweden, and then uh, they get broken down and rebuilt, uh, recoupered into these 30 litre uh, cast sizes. So oh, wow. it's, re it's really quite, um, you know, so, so innovative, you know, no one else really offers, you know, such a small uh, cask as that. And it no, not, does not then allow you to, to, of course, then get, get your final bottles in this sort of four or five year period of time. Awesome. So Matt, you mentioned that we can choose the spirit type and the cast type as well. Can you tell yeah. us a bit more about what spirit uh, recipes are available and what cast types are available? Uh, of course. So um, two spirit types. Uh, there's the elegant, which is what uh, they make most of the time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's what, you know, if, if most people have tried McMira, it's, it's probably what the, the spirit type that they've had. But for a very short period of time, they also make the rook, which is the smoky uh, spirit which they actually malt the barley themselves for at the distillery. <laughs> and, you know, really, really interesting. There's not many places that do that, you know, even in nope. Scotland or, or, or anywhere. So just the, the, the smoky malt they do, uh, but it's dried using uh, Swedish peat, which is taken from uh, to the north of the distillery. The but also a little quirk, they also add on um, their juniper twigs, uh, which they get from the Swedish Forestry Commission. Uh, and that just gives it a slightly different type of smoke. So they're your two types, the elegant and the rock, the smoky and one. The smoky one. Then you have a variety of different casks uh, to choose from, you know, be it very traditional, so uh, bourbon or Oloroso sherry, so coming from Kentucky or down in the south of Spain, Jerez, broken down, rebuilt into this 30 litre size. There's also um, on offer at the moment, uh, there's uh, Virgin American Oak. So this has come straight from the, you know, the sawmill in the, in the States over to the cooperage in Sweden and then made uh, into the 30 litre car. So much more sort of spicy, sweet, sort of uh, vigorous characteristics with that. And there's also a thing called the anniversary cars, which was uh, produced, uh, quite a small amount of them were produced to uh, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of McMira last last year, uh, so that's American oak staves and Swedish oak heads. Oh, so they're the main cool. ones that that I, I I'm sort of looking after at the moment. But very occasionally others do come up, and you know, quite exciting. There's a, this new new pack which has just been put onto the McMira website. It contains four uh, four samples. Two of which I've mentioned, uh, which is the, the combination of the elegant and the bourbon and the rook and the virgin American oak. But there's also two that are slightly different casks, which are in a port cask and in an ex-cognac cask as well. So, so far, you know, I've not, um, not had those available, but there's a very small amount coming. So we'll obviously talk about this pack a little bit later, uh, sort of in the broadcast, but uh, that's available on the website. And essentially, you buy the pack, you get the four samples. It shows you a lot of the different varieties and combinations. And then you get a, a consultation with me and, you know, some other people that have bought the pack as well to discuss and sample and taste those those things. So uh, would, would you like to try one of them or two of them? Yeah, maybe? yeah. yeah, yeah should, please. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so I mean, maybe, there's quite a few combinations there that, that, that can be done. Do you know what I mean? So it's not just your your standard, you know, you, you folks say, like, we'll, take, we'll, we'll go to a Scottish distillery, we'll choose a 200 litre uh, uh, ex bourbon cask, and you know, you don't, like you said, you don't you don't see it for 10 years or whatever. Yeah. You know, they don't really offer you that many options. So to have, you know, to choose your spirit for a start between the, the yeah. two recipes there, and then to then go on and choose potentially, you know, some really funky casks, that would be quite interesting. So, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's this sort of, obviously your first direction to choose is whether you go smoky or not, you know, sort of a bit more sort of in the elegant or you know, sort of classic style. Then of course you can put it into any of these. So it's almost becoming like a, this sort of family tree where you end, suddenly end up with all these different combinations. Yeah, yeah. And of course, what I've been doing in the tastings that I've been hosting uh, sort of, you know, on things like this and you know, through Zoom uh, uh, meetings and so on with people is trying to show them, you know, potential 
customers that are interested is I've been bottling up the samples of different combinations that I've got here and trying to show them what these different combinations like the spirit type and the cast type actually actually sort of work like yeah. and of course it's giving you an idea and a snapshot but it's never going to be exactly the same because you know we all know each cast kind of goes off in its oh, own it's going to be different yeah, that's for sure you can't really you can sort of predict the flavor characteristics that you're going to get but of course you know some will come you know maybe with a bit more flavor or a bit higher abv or certain number of bottles the average number of bottles that you get from this 30 liters it's about 45 to 50 bottles uh, so you know that's not too bad either uh, so should we have a taste should we do the elegant bourbon one that, that's yeah, really the, that's really the sort of cornerstone i would say yeah well, probably, probably one that more people would have uh, an affinity with really because you know that's probably the most type style of whiskey that they've tried before yeah so yeah so this really shows off the the elegant spirit i think you know it's it's so fresh it's vibrant uh, it's got this lovely sort of apple -y, fruity yeah that's beautiful so sort of quality and then of course you've got the all the sort of classic sort of taste profile from a bourbon car so it's sort of honey vanilla little bit of what i always call baking spice but it's it's a you know it's a real sort of classic you know classic mac mirror actually and Definitely. yeah so as i say most casts they come out between 45 and 50 uh, bottles the average is between sort of uh, 52 and 55 56 percent but of course with this uh, there is a little bit of guesstimation because yeah. as we say different casts go in different uh, directions so you know you might get one that's a at the end of four or five years you might get one that's a touch uh sort of you know maybe even under 50 abv or one that's 58 uh, abv you know something like that you know you sort of roll the dice to a degree but what the this pack is giving and you know the other samples that i have here is giving people this idea of what what sort of whiskey you can expect and it's then yeah, up to, to to the individuals or you know if you're with a group of friends or you know your local whiskey club or some other sort of social club it's then up to you to decide how you want to split that because obviously it helps you split the cost in the first place but it also it also helps you then split the the bottles at the end because 45 or 50 bottles is a lot for one person to, yes. you know, you know, if, if you chose it really if you chose it well then you'd be, be grateful of like 48 50 bottles of the same liquid wouldn't yeah you, really? even for a sort of season professionals like yeah. ourselves you know that's a, <laughs> that's it's a, a lot bit much yeah no that is lovely i mean that delicious isn't it delicious. On, on the bottle it says 45 percent abv it kind of strengths there but mm. that tastes a bit on the stronger side it, it, it does give yeah. you that lovely big fresh hit there and this is the this is the sort of beauty or the frustration of it it depends on your outlook in life whether it's a beauty or frustration but uh, all the samples I've got, they range from around this 45, 46, 47. I think the strongest one I've got is like 58 and a half, 59%. Wow. So it really depends, you know, sort of all these factors, you know, where your cask is, you know, how it's maturing as to what you end up with, you know, yeah. so, but that's delicious, isn't it? It's tasting very nice. Yeah, just so the Connor contrast. just asking so you can buy it with a group of mates. Yes, Connor. Yes, so uh, there's, you know, obviously the more people you have, the more tricky it is to decide maybe what you go for, you know, the sort of voting by committee, this type of thing. But <laughs> I'd say probably three or four is a good, is, is a I good. Thought, good I, honestly, Matt, I thought you were going to say the more people you have, the less whiskey you're going to get. <laughs> well, <laughs> you do get less whiskey. And but you also pay less, you know, as yeah, which, which is total, definitely a plus. Total cost. So it's right about. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I would say probably, you know, if you didn't want to go in as an individual, probably three or four is a good amount because then you'll end up, you know, essentially with you know twelve twelve bottles of your whiskey at the end. And and how cool how cool would that be? 
you're set like you know you chip them with a couple of pals uh and you're sat there you've got like 10 10 15 bottles to yourself mm. and, and like you give your dad or your, your pal one as a birthday or a christmas present or something something from you you know that that's i think that would be amazing I mean, this is what yeah. they're saying in Sweden. They obviously have a you know a wide variety of, of type of customer in, in Sweden. So you know they have the, the whiskey clubs and whiskey people, um, but they also have you know like corporations that buy them to give out as corporate gifts or you know, awards to staff and things like this. So whatever you do with it is is really you know it's very flexible. You know it's your whiskey at the end of the day. No one else is ever going to have you know, a bottle of this well, or, not, are they? No. you know, whatever, no. you know, e even if it's, you know, something like the elegant bourbon, which, you know, a lot of people do buy, no two casts are going to be the same. So no, you definitely know, not. That, that that's the beauty of it. If you're Shall eating for the money, it'd make an incredible, like, wedding favour gift, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. A bottle of that yeah, on that's table. Idea, that'd, be, yeah. that'd be a big that's boy an move. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> But shall we try the smoky one? The smoky one, yeah, definitely. Not. So, uh, we can see see the difference, and then uh, obviously when people buy the packs, they'll get to taste these with me. Uh, this is a this is a big step up in uh, ABV as well. So we've gone from yes, a nice forty five to a fifty five point two. Fifty five point two, yes. Yeah, so there we are. So here you'll get to see the slight difference with the with the sort of smoky quality. And I wouldn't describe it as, you know, being massively smoky, you know, like no. people would no, probably... Obviously, you know, we, we've, we've done shows with the Rook and stuff like that as well, uh, yeah. for, 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 mm. for our audience and stuff like that. And one of the things is it, the, the nose comes across like, as quite mm. smoky, but it doesn't transfer onto the palate, which is definitely not a bad thing, especially if you're just getting into smoky whiskey. Mm. Well, especially with this, which is um, the American oak as well. Which gives you, you know, it's it's virgin oak, so it's never had the bourbon in it like the previous one or or yeah. anything else for that matter. So, um, you know, it, it does have a lot of these initial compounds uh, that come out that have normally come out into the bourbon or the sherry or the wine or whatever it is. Uh, so they're coming out straight into the. I mean, that that you know, looks phenomenal. Bottle. Yeah. So, you know, just. You know, marries really well this extra sort of smokiness the smokiness with this extra sort mm. of uh impact from the, the the sort of virgin oak is you know works really well straight away you get those you know you get that hint of smoke but you get those spices dancing across your tongue oh that is mm. that is lovely i mean look at the, the 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 label there you know that was the cask was filled uh on the 27th of november in 2012 mm. And then it was bottled on the 25th of March in 2020. So you're looking at what's that? That's like a seven year old whiskey. Mm. Um, and the color on that for seven years old and nothing previously been in the cask before as well. Yeah. And that, that's just phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. So what you'll see here, I mean, the pack, the strengths, you've got 45, 55.2, 49.7, and 46.4 within the mm. pack. So uh, you can see. Quite there is a fluctuation of of what you can end up with, but they, they say the average is actually you know fifty to fifty five ish. Uh, nice. Well, that's yeah, good. That. I mean, you know, while that is still quite strong, I don't feel the need to add a touch of water to it. It's mm. not, you know, it's it's been done in such a way that it's I'm not just getting a pure alcohol hit on on a fifty five percent whiskey, yeah. you know, like you do with some others. Yeah. Uh, but that that yeah. is oh, that is phenomenal. It is it's warming delicious. but accessible. Yeah, definitely. It's, definitely. It's actually been the case, you know, I've done, you know, I've spoken to over 50, you know, during lockdown, over 50 people, um, prospective uh, customers for the, the, the reserve cast program. And um, it's, you know, the, the thing is that actually all the samples are good. It's just really choosing what combination works best for your, for your palate. And they're all very drinkable definitely. drinks that they, they, um, they are put, Put out. and of course that that's what you get is what you get you can't change the abv uh, sort of when you come to bottle yeah so it. so you know when, when you know at mcmira whiskey village when you buy your cask to bottle they're not adding water to it to make up bottles or to reduce the abv or anything everything you get in your bottle is cash strength matt yeah yes yeah, so it's filled at 63 you know as you know that's Ooh. the sort of golden yeah, yeah. 
uh, sort of filling strength. You know, most places in the world say fill at 63. So you can see it can lose a little bit over the years, but uh, you're tasting it all the way along. So, you know, it's it, that's the beauty of it as well. You know, it's not just suddenly, you know, we're waiting like five years or whatever, and then you get the bottles turn up on the door. You're actually following its journey all the way through. Yeah. And there's a current offer on the uh, UK website, actually, which you know went quite well. We did it back in, in uh, sort of May. It went well, so it's now been extended a little bit. And this includes, you know, a hard hat tour of the distillery. Uh, it includes, uh, you can even go and fill your own cask if you want. Obviously, not right now with travel restrictions. Yeah, yeah that's a bit tricky. But, uh, you know, there are people that have done that. Uh, it also gives you sort of 15% off the MacMira UK uh, website shop for the duration of your car. So potentially that's five years of 15% discount. And it that also gives you a fine cash just for that, Matt, I think. I mean, that is, <laughs> Make yeah, your money back, wouldn't you? <laughs> if you buy a lot of whiskey, then, yeah, you could <laughs> get some of, some of it back. But, um, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, so you get all of these things, plus you get this sort of annual tasting with uh, yourself or your collaborative group where you actually get to taste your own cast. So, you know, it's so multifaceted really, and I can't really think of anywhere else that really offers something like that, that you then get the whiskey in that period of time as well. You know, as we said before, you're normally waiting like 10 or 15 or 18 or yeah. 20 years, whatever it is. I think, I think a lot, uh, especially for some of the, the cask buying schemes that I'm aware of uh, in in Scotland, that you know you get you get like ten years of standard, mm -hmm. but you don't you know unless you live close by the distillery, you're not you're not going to see it every other day or get you know what I mean. So honestly, ten yeah, years. Yeah, that, you know, that you level of interaction is amazing. Yeah, you, you don't mm -hmm. get that really. That that's phenomenal. So, so we, we've talked about um, we've talked about the two spirit types, obviously, but there are different locations uh, around Sweden, as I said. Um, actually, all of these in the pack have been stored at one particular place called Bodas. It's, a, it's actually an old mine. That we've mine. Got a here, actually. It looks a bit like a, the only way I can describe it is like a Bond villain sort of hideout. It's, a, it's an old <laughs> iron ore mine that closed down in the 1980s, actually. And uh, so all the sort of mining equipment is still up on the top. But this is, uh, you drive down this, this road into the side of the, the hill. And there's a big cavern at the end, which hopefully we'll get to eventually. And uh, this is where all the whiskey is stored. And what happens here is that all the, the, the humidity and the, the temperature is very constant. So it means that the casks aren't really under any stress and they, they just mature, you know, very consistently in the Bodas mine. So this is one of the, the two main places where uh, the... Uh, reserve casks uh, are stored for customers. So here we are, we're sort of coming into it uh, now. And here it just opens out into this big cavern where, you know, a lot of these wow. casks are stored. I mean, look at that. I can't really think of anywhere else where whiskey is being matured in this way. You obviously see like wine, cheese or things being matured in caves, but I've never seen anything quite like this to be honest not not 50 meters underground no <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah fascinating place and then the second main place where um the cars are matured uh, is called the forest distillery and this is right next this is right next to the distillery the forest warehouse sorry so this is a short walk from the the gravity distillery which opened in 2013 and this is uh, also sort of a slight altitude. So again, the maturation is, is very consistent. Uh, so they're the two main places and they're really the main places because they're the two closest to the actual distillery uh, it's, itself. So it means that people, when they come and do a hard hat tour or you know, so, sort of visit the distillery, they can actually go and visit their cask relatively easily there's other locations which are much more difficult to get to there's some gin as well actually you can get a, a cask of gin filled up if you want Same uh -huh. sort of idea. but uh, it obviously takes a bit less uh, you know about six months or so i think 
that's uh, that takes. But the other locations, you know, there's uh, one right up in the far, very far north. Uh, that's sort of uh, Lost Island. That's sort of up in the mountains far north. There's one on an island in the middle of the lake, uh, sort of archipelago system. It's coupled down by Gothenburg, coupled down by Stockholm, but they're not generally quite so open to, to the public and they're, they're also much further away from the distillery. So that's why they recommend for this cast programme that it's either the Bodas mine or the forest warehouse. Nice. So obviously that, that's when we mature it. Matt, given like the amount of casts that, that have been done already, uh, have, have we looked into what's the optimal time for maturation for the 30 litre casks then? Obviously it's so, going to change depending uh, on the spirit, yeah. the location, etc. So there's going to be variables, but is there a rough figure for an optimal maturation? Yeah, time? so the cap here is five years. And this has been sort of worked out. Obviously they've done, you know, over this uh, time, they've got the 20,000 customers in Sweden. Uh, and it's worked out that really the sweet spot for this small cask is between four and five years. So, okay, cool. Uh, and that might sound, you know, that's that's quite young for whiskey, but you know, we are talking about yeah. this much more with casks, so with a much more vigorous interaction. Uh, so, from the experience when you talk to the guys in Sweden, that's why it's capped at five years because there's then a very real danger that is a very small tipping point where it can then become, you know, yeah. a bit overcooked, very woody, yeah. and and go in a, in into a v different and you know slightly more unpredictable um unorthodox sort of flavor yeah, obviously, obviously with the bigger casks you've got a bit more buffer time there haven't you do you know what i mean exactly so because things are happening the, 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 the finer the the finer the uh, the finer the lines basically yeah so yeah. exactly because you've you've got you've got this buffer because you know, things are maturing a lot more slowly a lot gentler the interaction with the the wood is 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 a little bit more sedate let's say whereas with this you know even in the bodas mine where it's very consistent maturation it's just got this you know very vigorous interaction with the wood so five that's years is the maximum you can't go over awesome. that actually. that's not too long a wait either is it you know no i mean you know obviously we said you know, it's good if if you're not such a pace, patient person you know a little bit <laughs> myself you know i like to have things happening, you know. So five, four or five, you know, you could bottle it at five, four years if you want. You know, if yeah, you yeah. taste it on its anniversary, you can you can bottle it then. Or, you know, somewhere in between the two. You know, very occasionally they say they do get people in, in Sweden that are bottling it at maybe three and a half because they like this sort of fresher, more vibrant oh, okay. sort of style of single malt. But, you know, personally, I would say, you know, from the samples, the different samples that I've tried then, Certainly, four to five years is a real sweet spot. I agree with them. Awesome, that's perfect. Uh, and so, is it like literally every single year that, that people get a, a sample sent out to them on their but on, on the cask's birthday? We'll call it. Yeah, sort of honour around its birthday, anniversary, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, and then it will be with myself or somebody else from that mirror, and obviously. You know, it's an exciting thing to come and try your own your own whiskey cask, but yeah. uh, you know, from the sound of it, there'll also be you know a couple of limited editions that you maybe can't buy quite so easily as well to uh, to try. You know, so you're trying like a few whiskies, you know, very special things sort of there, and it'd be a bit oh, of wow. an event. You know? It's like you know your child's birthday party, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's essentially what it is, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So with with we, you spoke about we can, we can design the labels and that as well. So what what roughly are the options on that then, Matt? Yeah, so um, I've actually got one here to to show sort of what you can do. Uh, so uh, here we are. Uh, you've got a label here. So essentially, all your cask info is on the bottom here. Okay. So you can see sort of you know when it was uh, the cask was filled, when it was bottled, uh, the the strength, cask number, what the uh, number of bottles are you know where the location was all of these factors the type of spirit all the things we've talked about even who bottled it i mean this was bottled by christopher you know so i love that sort of detail that sort of slightly yeah. geeky detail that, that, that personal touch i like it yeah. but also exactly because you know it is your personal whiskey but also what you'll see is at the top 
you can design your own logo or you can have, you know, like the list of names of the people or that are in your group or, you know, maybe even a photo or something like that. So you can club emblem or something. Exactly. You know, so if it's a whiskey club, you could have the club logo or, you know, a social club or whatever it is. So that's you get to choose that at the end. You don't have to do it when you order the cask yeah. you know, either. You know, so and just, you know, just to make it clear, um, there's one upfront payment which reserves all of your uh, your cask, the cask right, okay. of those ones that we spoke about, uh, and also the liquids, uh, you know, the spirit that you choose, the rook or the elegant, and five years, and all the samples getting sent over and everything. So that's one cost to start with. And then, of course, at the end, you have to pay uh, the duty and the tax. And that can't be calculated at the beginning because it's judged on how much is left in the cask, how many bottles you end up with essentially, and also the strength of the alcohol. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, there's a gauge and it works it out uh, for you. Uh, but uh, basically, I've, I've got a, a chart and, you know, I can send this to people as well. Uh, and it explains the cost of each cask. Uh, and the spirits, the spirit and the cast combinations as well. Yeah. And yeah. also at the bottom, it has a chart which uh, describes what the cost will be. So just just to give an idea, in case people are thinking, you know, what on earth is that? You know, how much am I going to be stung with at the end? Uh, to put it into context, the first whiskey we tried, the Bourbon Elegant, is one thousand four hundred and sixty pounds. Okay. Uh, for the cask and that gives you all of those things that I mentioned up to the five year point then if you work out and they're taking the average again of again how we spoke so an average of 48 bottles and 52% ABV the the tax and the duty will be £430 so all in it's going to be just under £1900 nice which for so crazy what 48 bottles of whiskey it is not i don't think it's too bad actually but it's just to make no, people no, aware that there is this obviously this tax duty charge yeah, for sure. and then it gets bottled labeled once you've paid that sent over to the uk to your to your house nice amazing nice so that final price that's a that's a two-year door that, that's a two-year door Absolutely. price and then it's yours to do with it's yours yeah. to do with whatever you want. Yeah. So a couple of questions. Uh, do we get to visit the distillery uh, as a customer? Yes, you do. Yeah. yeah um, obviously, also, tricky at the moment. The distillery uh, is the distillery is open because obviously things are slightly more relaxed in 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 Sweden. Um, but you know, obviously, once so if it's easier to get over and you know, get hotels and things and get from the UK, then that is possible. As I say, there is the option to even go, you know, put it on hold. You pay the fee, they reserve yeah. the cars for you, and then you can actually go over and fill it yourself, which that'd is... Be, that'd oh, wow. That would be an experience. Yeah, that would very be, cool thing to do. Uh, and also, uh, Shane was asking, do you get to keep the cask? So you've paid your money for the spirit and the cask, etc. Uh, do you get to keep the yeah. cask? Unfortunately not. Um, no. there, there, is, there is an option to refill the cask, with a second amount of liquid for a, a, a discounted fee. But okay, no, these right. are very rare. It's it's really the only place in Sweden that where they have this 30 litre cast. So they're very desirable and they are specially made for for us at McMira with you know by by the this cooperage in Sweden. So unfortunately not. All right, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, particularly oh, rare. No, that all sounds absolutely amazing, guys. So don't forget there's there is a deal on. Uh, until the like Matt said, until the end of September, uh, mm -hmm. we can get the behind the scenes tour with an overnight stay, uh, a, a sampling event in the UK, and basically what Matt said was five years of fifteen percent off the MacMira.co.uk web shop, which I think is just worth it. So less than just less than two grand, you could have forty eight bottles of whiskey. <laughs> that 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 the, your own yeah. recipe whiskey as well. So that, and it's that's completely that's unique, phenomenal. nothing like it. There's also this pack which has just popped up that you know that we've talked about uh, that's on the on the website now. It's called um, yeah the Reserve Cast Consultation Pack. So this has the you know a couple of the samples that we've tried plus these other two as well. 
And this is uh, essentially what you do is you, you go to the, the shop on the UK website, and you click on the consultation pack. What is, it will then ask you to do is select a date that you want the consultation, and that will be with me. Uh, so uh, we can fit up to 10 people on each consultation, and I will set up a, a meeting with everyone for each particular date. And then we'll go through the, the uh, samples a, a bit like we have in a little bit more detail, yeah. you know, and I'll be able to explain exactly, you know, sort of what, what I've explained uh, today as well and, and hopefully help people find what combination of spirit and cask uh, they, they, they might want they might or, or, or want to have at the end of the day. So, so you know, that, that's very important. There's only a limited supply of these these uh, packs so you know i'd snap them up and get a date booked if if it is something that anyone watching is particularly interested in and yeah. um, i'm doing them over the next sort of few weeks sort of once or twice a week uh, so you know you've got some uh, some sort of leeway you know if you, if you work one particular night but not another you know i've tried to yeah, yeah. spread them out on different days and so on uh, cool. so you know hopefully I get an influx of people that I can talk to because I could talk about these cars all night, as you could probably tell. Um, <laughs> um, no, but that's you know, fantastic. It, it's but just a remember... unique, rare thing to be able to, you know, design, create, play God, however you want to describe it, you know, to have your own whiskey and in this relatively short period of time. You know, to either have yourself or share with some friends or work colleagues or whatever yeah. it is. No, that yeah, sounds definitely. awesome, guys. Don't forget as well, if you buy the, the, the pack and then you go on to purchase a cask, you do get your money back for the, oh, yes, for the tasting yeah. pack as well. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Thank you. Which is a, which is a nice little touch. So you potentially get a wee free tasting with Matt, which is which would be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so Matt, that all sounds uh, amazing. So thanks for your time and your information today. Uh, that's all we have Thank time you. for today, guys. Um, so thanks to my co-host, uh, Lawrence. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And uh, Carl on comments as well, uh, and to Shane, uh, uh, and our special guest, Matt Chambers. Yeah, thanks very much. So guys, uh, thanks a lot, guys. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, remember, we have a ready cast show on Tuesday uh, where we'll talk about uh, casks that are ready to go now. Uh, so without, uh, you know, if you're very, very impatient, you can uh, do something for you right now. So that show is yeah, if you can't, if you can't wait four or five years, then... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah, that's for the very impatient people. So, no, that's absolutely fantastic. Gents, thank you very much for joining me tonight. And uh, everybody out there in uh, in Facebook land and in um, and YouTube land, thank you very much for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Cheers. See you later.